Land mammals can find themselves in some pretty intense fights. Sometimes the fights start over a love interest, while other times they're fighting for their lives or food. If you thought the ocean was any different, you'd be wrong. From an eel-on-eel -eel battle to a polar bear taking on a walrus wall, here are 15 sea animals that messed with the wrong opponent. Number 15. Orcas versus Tiger Shark Orcas, also known as killer whales, sound terrifying. When you have a word like killer in your name, you have to assume it's a man-eating mammal with humans on its mind for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But we are taught that orcas are greatly misunderstood creatures and that they're really quite gentle, at least with us. You may have even believed that up until you hear about the savage attack of three orcas on a tiger shark. Before you have too much sympathy though, it's worth knowing that tiger sharks are not the nicest of creatures either. Behind great whites, they attack humans more than any other. But in an orca versus tiger shark battle, the tiger shark will definitely come off second best. A gang of killer whales forced a tiger shark to the surface of the water and flipped it onto its back, paralyzing it. They then bit at its fins before stripping the seven foot shark back to its bones. So even though tiger sharks are fierce creatures of the deep that can savagely attack humans, they're not the top of the food chain. In an orca versus tiger shark battle, the shark well and truly came off second best. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Polar Bear vs. Walrus Polar bears are by no means small. An adult male can weigh over 1,500 pounds and measure over 9 feet, so no one would ever be brave or perhaps silly enough to challenge one to a fight. And if you're a source of food, then you really don't stand a chance. Or do you? A polar bear stumbled upon a large herd of walrus. Walrus are no small fries themselves, grown up to around 4,400 pounds, and featuring tusks up to 3 feet 3 inches long and 12 pounds. It would seem that the polar bear has met its match, as the walrus form a wall to protect their young and elderly. The polar bear waltzed up to the walrus herd and tried to grab any outliers it could get its hands, well, paws on. Some of the walrus use their tusks as weapons, and the polar bear has to avoid being stabbed by some that appear to be a couple of feet long. But even after trying as hard as possible to sink its teeth into a delicious and blubbery walrus, the poor polar bear fails and misses out on dinner. Unfortunately, that may not be the first or last time. Polar bears are now classed as a vulnerable species due to habitat loss brought about by climate change. Number 13. Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus What would you fear more, a great blue shark or a giant Pacific octopus? If you've seen the movie Jaws, then you would probably go with the shark. But as it turns out, you should perhaps fear the octopus. A blue shark is minding its own business in a tank when an octopus suddenly leaps up from the tank floor where it lies camouflaged and attempts to take down the shark. Bearing in mind that blue sharks can grow up to 12 feet long, it's not going to be an easy fight. But it sure doesn't look all that hard for the octopus, which can weigh up to 600 pounds with a 30-foot arm span. The octopus wraps its tentacles around the shark and makes sure it can't get away. In the short span of a few minutes, the octopus is devoured by the powerful Pacific Predator. Blue sharks are slim sharks that have saw-edged teeth and an attractive deep blue coloring with a white belly. Even though they have those razor-sharp teeth, they are no match for something that'll eat anything from birds, shrimp, and lobsters to small sharks. Number 12. Savage Eel Fight If you live in the ocean, there is plenty to fear. One minute you're swimming around going about your business, then the next you're another sea creature's snack. But one might think that if you're gonna be eaten by anything in the ocean, it won't be your kind. Unless you're an eel, of course. 
Moray eels are carnivorous predators, and there are around 200 different species. Moray eels typically like to eat crustaceans and similar creatures, but they are not against eating each other. Take this night stalker and girdled eel, for example. They come from the same family, but one is fighting for its life, and the other is fighting for something to eat. His vital organs are all in the upper half of his body. The larger night stalker eel latches onto the girded eel with such force that it rips it nearly in half. Fortunately, the majority of its vital organs are in the upper half of its body, but it is no match for the night stalker, which uses its first jaw to latch onto the eel, then its second pharyngeal jaw to try and bring more of the eel into its mouth. Eventually, the battle is won, and the Night Stalker takes off with its now-defeated prey firmly in its mouth. Number 11. Sea Lion vs. Octopus Sea lions might look cute and cuddly, but you might soon change your mind when you see them in a battle with an octopus. While they don't tend to take on seals or penguins, they can comfortably dine on as much as 50 pounds of squid and seal every day. Everything from school fish to small squid is on the menu. That includes octopus. An Australian sea lion was spotted in a tangle with an octopus, which was caught on a critter cam set up by National Geographic. But the sea lion keeps coming. For 10 minutes, the sea lion fights with the octopus, trying to bring it to the surface so it can breathe. In the meantime, the octopus is releasing copious amounts of defensive ink to try and ward the sea lion off, but to no avail. The sea lion has had a taste of delicious octopus, and now it wants more. After the octopus escapes a few times, the sea lion recaptures it with ease. Eventually, it gets to dry land, where it gets to enjoy the fruits of its labor. That's a dinner well deserved. Number 10. Shark vs. Moray Eel Shark vs. Moray Eel. Who do you think would win such a fight? Is it the white tip reef shark that can bite unsuspecting spear fishers who try and steal their catch? Or is it the Moray Eel, a carnivorous predator that takes no prisoners? Well, you'd be surprised at just how equally matched the two are. A diver caught footage of a shark embroiled in a minutes-long battle with a hungry moray eel. The moray eel snatches the shark and attempts to take it down into its little reefy house, where it probably intends to dine like the king it thinks it is. As the shark and eel go out of sight, you might think that the eel has gotten its way. But then, it reappears with much of the shark tucked away in its mouth. Is the battle over? Has the eel won? Not quite. All of a sudden, the shark finds its second wind and launches its way out of the moray eel's grasp. Losing interest, the two creatures go their separate ways. But by the way the shark's moving a little crookedly, it's fair to say he got a massive fright by the unwanted attack. Number 9. Shrimp vs. Dragonfish Heteriocarpus shrimp are scavengers by nature, so they typically prefer to sit back, relax, and wait for creatures to die before they feast on what's left behind. But as it turns out, they can actually be quite savage hunters as well. Who would have thought that in a shrimp vs. midwater dragonfish battle, that a fish would come off second best? Scientists on the Okeanos Explorer ship exploring New Zealand's territory of Tokelau were treated to an intense showdown between two sea creatures. They witnessed it on a camera mounted to a remotely operated vehicle called the Deep Discoverer. Oh my god! <laughs> Wow. The footage shows a shrimp and dragonfish embroiled in a battle on the sea floor. The shrimp manages to impale the fish, pull a smaller fish from its stomach, then consume it while it's still alive. It then takes it away out of the camera frame. Such predatory behavior by a scavenger like a shrimp is not only rare, but rarely caught on camera too. The video was posted onto the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration of the United States Department of Commerce's website. Number 8. Violent Elephant Seal Fight Fights happen between different animals of different species, but some pretty fierce battles can also go on within colonies of the same species as well. Northern elephant seals are definitely proof of that. 
Every year, thousands of these elephants descend upon California beaches for the breeding season. Even though there are thousands of females and males, there is intense competition. Most males will strike out and go home without a new lady love. Alpha bulls are probably to blame for this. They will yell at any potential rival that dares to come too close to their harem, which is a group of females with a single male mate. And while the sounds they make are definitely interesting, like a cross between a gurgling drain and a motorbike, there is a method to their madness. Researchers believe these calls are quite a complex communication system. The male seal will vocalize to know when to pick its battle. They don't want to fight all the time, but they want to make sure that the other male elephant seals know who's boss. These 4,000 pound plus creatures will also put up a fight if they have to. Number 7. Octopus vs. Stonefish Stonefish think they can get away with anything. After all, they can camouflage themselves and then launch an unsuspecting prey with their giant mouths and powerful jaws. Small fish barely stand a chance, and that's not even the worst part. Stonefish are some of the most poisonous fish in the world, and they can be fatal to humans. So even though they aren't that big, they tend to win a lot of fights against much larger animals. <laughs> Fortunately, not all sea creatures are scared of this fish. Aside from featuring on the menu of sea snakes and sharks, the occasional octopus likes to have a nibble as well. Off the coast of Egypt, an intrigued diver was able to capture footage of a hungry octopus attempting to devour a stonefish. Now, you might think that's a bit silly, but let's put this into perspective. A stonefish is, at most, 20 inches. An octopus can weigh hundreds of pounds and with tentacles that are tens of feet long. Do you really think that stonefish would stand a chance? Doubtful. Two can play in this game, stonefish. Number 6. Lobster vs. Crab You don't always have to see a battle between two marine mammals to be curious about who would win. If a lobster was put into a situation where it had to fight a crab, who do you think would come off the victor? Well, let's compare their features to see who is the more worthy opponent. Both crabs and lobsters are aquatic animals. Crabs are decapod crustaceans, while lobsters are just large crustaceans. They both belong to different families, so there's no love lost there. Crabs have short tails and small abdomens. You barely see their stomachs as they are hidden under their thorax. Lobsters, on the other hand, have 10 legs they use for walking and two huge ones at the front with giant claws. On these points alone, you can see who has the better advantage. The lobster, for sure. Believe it or not, crabs are omnivores. They eat small animals and plants. Lobsters are also omnivores, but their diet includes fish, mollusks, plants, worms, and other crustaceans. So we're of the firm belief that if a lobster were to mess with a crab, the winner would undoubtedly be the lobster. What do you think? Number 5. Octopus vs. Pufferfish You won't find too many creatures keen to go head-to-head -head with a pufferfish. Not unless, of course, they have a death wish. Pufferfish organs contain tetrodotoxin, which is not only disgusting to the palate of sea creatures, but is about 1,200 times more potent than cyanide. Let's put that into perspective. Just one pufferfish can bring down a crowd of 30 humans. There is also no known antidote. So we've gotta hand it to this octopus for trying. It either doesn't realize what it's trying to eat or it's had enough of life. It tries to drag the puffer fish between the corals, but the puffer fish fights back. It behaves aggressively to try to get away. So the octopus lifts its game. It comes out of its shelter, grabs the fish with its tentacles, then encloses it. The puffer fish, still not giving up, manages to break away from the grasp of the octopus. I don't think that octopus realizes that it's actually had a lucky escape. Not only will it enjoy the flavor of the fish, but it might also be eating its last supper. Number 4. Sea Serpent vs. Moray Eel If you were to choose a winner out of a moray eel and a sea serpent, which would you choose? Both are the same size and even look the same. And given that they are the same size, it'd be like an adult human trying to eat another adult human whole. 
It just makes no sense. So this battle is not only surprising, but intriguing. A banded sea crate slides through reef crevices in search of a delicious moray eel. Quickly spotting one, it gets to work trying to devour it. Sea crates tend to live in shallow, tropical waters around the western Pacific Ocean and the eastern Indian Ocean. Their venom is incredibly poisonous, at around 10 times more toxic than the venom of a rattlesnake. So they definitely use this to their advantage when they go hunting. To get the moray eel in its control, the sea serpent paralyzes it with its venom. It is then able to attempt to swallow it whole. Slowly, the moray eel is devoured. By the time it eats the whole thing, it looks much larger than when it first started hunting. Number 3. Tiger Shark vs. Hammerhead Shark Ryan Wilsey was line fishing for tuna off the coast of Louisiana when he captured some fantastic footage of a fight between a tiger shark and a hammerhead shark. But the fight was unlike anything you may have seen before. They get a bite on their line from a hammerhead shark and it's quite an exciting time. Before they know it though, a tiger shark approaches, seeing its opportunity for a quick and easy snack. It proceeds to attack the hammerhead shark over and over again. This isn't altogether surprising because the tiger shark doesn't discriminate. A snack's a snack, regardless if it's another shark. It latches onto the smaller hammerhead shark and the two fight in the water. The tiger shark manages to get the hammerhead shark off the fisherman's line and it swims around wounded. In a weakened state, it doesn't take long for the hammerhead shark to give up and be taken away by the tiger shark who's clearly thankful to the sports fisherman for the easy meal. The fisherman will surely be thankful he didn't catch the tiger shark though, for that would have been even harder to try and pull up on the line. Number 2. Harbor Seal vs. Giant Pacific Octopus In a body of water off Ogden Point in Canada, a harbor seal is involved in a fight with a giant Pacific octopus. The fight was captured by seaside strollers who were amazed at what they saw. The harbor seal swims around and around with the huge octopus sprawled across its back. It seems like the pair is an even match. There's even a possibility that the huge seal could come off second best. The octopus uses its tentacles to its advantage, wrapping them around the seal and spreading its body out to form a makeshift hammock. As the two head under the water, it's not clear who's gonna resurface. Will the seal make a meal out of the octopus? Will the octopus take down the seal? Or will the two go their separate ways? The seal gets its second wind and launches out of the water with the octopus in its mouth. We've got our winners, ladies and gentlemen. The giant Pacific octopus, which can weigh hundreds of pounds, was no match for the strong harbor seal. Number 1. Seal vs. Shark Nature can be a cruel beast. This seal vs. shark battle in the Pacific Ocean in Northern California in 2015 is proof of that. Just think about it really quickly. Do you think a seal or a shark would win in a fight? I mean, just look at all those sharp teeth in the mouth of a shark. It's a no-brainer, right? Well, you might just be surprised. Or give it all you've got. Sea lions are more than capable of feasting on thresher sharks and leopard sharks. Footage was captured in water around Laguna Beach, and the Newport Coastal Adventure team posted photos to Facebook. Shark researcher Dr. Chris Lowe said in a Hakai Magazine interview that it was pretty common. He said that California sea lions could take down a 5-foot leopard shark with no problems at all. Sharks may seem like they're at the top of the food chain, but they're not always a match for a 770-pound sea lion. We say not always because we're pretty sure a sea lion would just be a snack for a hungry great white. Watching fight scenes on TV can be pretty exciting, but who would have thought that the animal kingdom would provide entertainment far more impressive than TV? Have you seen any encounters like this for yourself? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!